As a new agent, it is very important to have a real estate coach in my opinion. You know, I was fortunate enough to have my dad who was a, a productivity coach with a uh, big franchise brokerage up in St. Louis and having him by my side, having him to guide me was crucial in my first couple years in business, right? Because I needed that person to help tell me, okay, here's the next step, here's what you need to do. In reality of it, he was, a, he was my biggest cheerleader. Luckily, he was my dad, obviously, huge cheerleader. But at the same time, he kept me motivated because I would have quit if it wasn't for him constantly telling me, keep doing what you're doing, it's going to pay off in the long run. And, and I'm like looking at him going, yeah, but when, right? Like because I did not get instant fame in this business. I did not have instant sales that happened. We, we sold three houses in the first 18 months, right? On food stamps, damn near like ready to throw in the towel and quit and but every day he was sitting there telling me keep doing what you're doing it's gonna pay off keep doing what you're doing and luckily it did right and the, the telling me to keep doing what I'm doing that was prospecting on a daily basis right keep trying to make new relationships build my client database also it was following up with current leads right and in at the time when I got in the business back in 2013 it's very similar to probably the, the the market we're getting ready to go into now it was a very it was a slower market right there wasn't people weren't rampantly buying houses like they have been the last two years you know you needed to find that buyer cultivate that relationship and, and you know basically nurture them until they were ready to purchase a home. So a lot of those people that I sold you know on year two and three of my business, those were people I met you know in year one. But it took them two years until they were ready to pull the trigger and actually purchase a home. But I think for a brand new agent, you need one of two things. You either need to join a team and have a team leader who's gonna hold you accountable or you need to invest in yourself and get yourself a real estate coach. Someone who's gonna be there to answer some of the questions, the hard questions, be able to tell you what the next steps are gonna be and what you need to do in order to drive your business. But in the new world that we live in with real estate, you know, my number one tip would be to join a team, right? Get on a team where you have other agents that are surrounding you. Not only will that team leader be someone to guide you in the next steps of what to do, but also somebody who's providing some leads because that's one of the biggest things when you get in this business is if you don't have any leads, you have no one to talk to, you can only call your sphere of influence so many times and ask for business, right? Like they're gonna get sick of hearing you if you've only got 100 people in your database and you're calling them you know, every other day to ask them if they know anybody who's gonna buy or sell real estate. You need some active leads coming in to you know, get your business rolling.